What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game Podcast. And Shaquille O'Neal breaks the internet once more with his take on women's college basketball versus men. And I have a lot to say about this. But before I get into this video, I want to ask you guys to do me a huge favor. I need you guys to hit that like button for your boy and subscribe to the YouTube channel. You guys liking my video truly do help my videos go a long way. Thank you guys so much for rocking with the Charge the Game Podcast. Thank you for everything that you do. Back to the video. Shaquille O'Neal goes on record, man. Literally, right? Goes on record and he goes out and says what most people already are thinking and what I previously made my videos about. Shaquille O'Neal goes on there and says that he's only watching women's college basketball game this year. If you guys have watched any of my videos, I've often jokingly said this, but after a while I got serious and I would say I literally focus more on women's college basketball just because it does remind me of what the old nba used to look like uh when i see the guys in march madness like that physicality man it's just it's just fun it's exciting and you know people are really contesting shots and and challenging shots it's, it's just more intriguing right so i thought i was the only one for a while until i ran across this man Shaq. and i know a lot of people now they probably feel the same way there's no other way to say it right he goes on to say it's just a better game. He stated plainly, and it's the truth. It's a better game than what we are seeing in the NBA. Uh, obviously, you're seeing a lot of the old NBA players turn sour towards uh, a lot of the men in, in, in the NBA. And I will have to say that he is only referencing this to the NBA and maybe a little bit towards college basketball. I haven't gotten to the report yet, but he came from a time and era where you literally had to get it how you live. That's, that's pretty much what these women college basketball players have been doing, especially with the whole Caitlin Clark movement, the Angel Reese movement. Uh, we saw that epic duel in the championship last season where uh, Angel Reese did indeed get the ring. Uh, but Caitlin Clark is a sensational talent, man. Like the stuff she's doing from the game is very uh, Carrie-esque in my opinion. But uh, yeah, the, the, the chick from South Carolina, like, uh, man, the, the rivalries, man, they're just more intense. They're raw, they're organic. It seems like the refs swallow the whistles a lot more now. And what we have in the NBA is complete opposite, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm being real with you guys. In some parts of college, I would prefer to watch women's basketball. What Caitlin Clark has done, I hope can literally, like the whole Caitlin Clark, Andrew Reese movement, I hope that women's college basketball can sustain uh, this hype, this momentum, it is their responsibility for them to keep up this momentum because all this is going to do is increase the revenue, with not only with NIL, but also with WNBA because people are going to follow that talent. People are going to pursue that talent that they saw in college, supported by jerseys, ticket sales. All of that revenue is going to increase because of what college women's college basketball is doing. And that's just my take on it. I felt that way for a while now, and I'm glad to hear a uh you know a four-time nba champion come out and say this you know what i'm saying this is this was heavy so let's get into the report uh where it says shaquille o'neal may have four nba championship rings to his name but this season the former los angeles lakers star isn't tuning into any nba games at all and this is where the nba should really i mean honestly this is a guy who covers the nba and still not interested you have a laker great right a Hall of Famer, a generational talent, Shaquille O'Neal, Big Diesel, and he's literally working for the NBA, right? Helping them cover games, NBA crew, TNT, and he's coming out and he's just like, I'm not even watching the games. For a guy to cover the games live, to say I'm not even interested, I'm just pretty much doing my job, it just, it just speaks volume, man. And the NBA really, man, like they, I'm telling you guys, they should be ashamed of themselves. And I keep, bro, Adam Silver, he gotta go, okay? He's soft. He's weak. He's not an alpha male. I don't even, quite frankly, I don't even know where he came from. All I know is this bald guy who looks like he's never aged a day in his life, and he just smiles all awkwardly. I mean, I'm quite sure he's pretty sharp. Like, all right, I'm not going to take that from him, but I just feel like in a sport where you have to be bigger than the stars, you have to have, you have to handle them more aggressively, but also with respect. You're killing the game, man, because you're either coaching it or you're condoning it. And I think for the most part, Adam Silver is condoning it. It makes no sense. But anyway, it goes on to say Shaq is only focusing on women's college basketball. And I could not agree with him more, especially after I saw the showdown amongst uh, LSU, 
of South Carolina, the players from the coach to the brawl. I'm just like, yes, like, yes. We applaud that gladiator stuff. Like, we, we're, we're thankful no one got hurt. I saw the brother jumping from the stands. I'm glad that the brother of the, the chick on LSU, I'm glad he didn't swing on any of the, the, the nice, friendly uh, female athletes. But, you know, like, it's just more exciting, like like Shaq says. And, you know, like, that's where it seems like most of the attention is going towards now. They're starting to get a lot of NBA players are starting to go to college games, WNBA games. They're starting to show their support more. Maybe they should learn, witnessing their physicality, how tough these women are. And these women, man, they be banging. Like, they really be banging. And, like, that aggressiveness, the whole attitude, like, man, they hungry for it. And that's what the NBA is missing. There's no hunger to prove your talent. They have to, the NBA has to get to a point where they are, they are starving the young players for talent. Because when you starve young players for talent, right, they're going to work twice as hard to get that money to, to showcase their talents, to to broadcast all they uh, have to offer for the game. You have to create that hunger. There's no sense of urgency in the NBA because everybody's overpaid. Everybody's spoiled. Everybody's just having their way right now. And there's nothing we can really do about it. But I guess just watch when the playoffs. That's typically when I watch most of the games. That's when they only show that type of physicality is when the playoffs are here. And they skate through the regular season. It's, it's not interesting. And it's just... It's not what it is. A retired basketball legend gave his thoughts on the current basketball season in both the men's and women's March Madness tournaments uh, in a new interview with People Magazine. I haven't been paying attention to the guys, only been paying attention to the girls, he said. I hate to say it, but the women's players are kicking the men's butts. You've got my injuries. You've got all the girls from South Carolina. You've got Caitlin Clark, Juju Watkins, and that's pretty much what i alluded to you know what i'm saying i knew that when shaq said he's only focusing on college women basketball they literally are surpassing male physicality what the hell but you know man you know the world is changing they're making everything so soft now you know what i'm saying like we gotta watch what we say you got men wanting to be in women's sports and it's just all different now so i'm not even surprised i mean i'm shocked don't get me wrong i feel like it's a disappointment to see that the NBA lacks this type of physicality, in my opinion. But, hey, it's a new world we live in. Your thoughts. I want you guys to weigh in on this topic as the Diesel Shaq has came through with another message that went viral that I will echo and continue to echo until things change. So weigh in with your thoughts, comments, and concerns. And let me know how you guys feel about this. If you found any value from the video and you would like to see more future content, do your boy a favor. First, hit that like button because you guys are helping this video and i need you guys to hit that subscribe button thank you guys so much for the love and support like always let me know how you charge the game peace